afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Chicago Cubs and the Pittsburgh Pirates. Now at the plate, Javier Baez, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. And here's a ball in the air now carrying a bit out toward right center. Under this one is Polanco and he's got it for the first out. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up the multi-gold glover Jason Hayward. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Pulled toward right center field. Center fielder on the run. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Here's Chris Bryant now. Nine at bats in the series and four base hits. Bases are empty here with two men out. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Reynolds is on the move for it. Still ranging back. Standing in now, Wilson Contreras. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. Sliced hard but foul. Look out over there. The one two. Ball two. Back two and two. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some tough pitches. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Stepping up now, Kevin Newman. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now the 2-1. Line to the right side. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. With that, the Buckos have their leadoff man aboard to kick off the inning. Into the box now, Adam Frazier. Drilled to the left side. A diving try, but he can't haul it in. It's through for a base hit. Stepping in now, Ryan Reynolds. Grounded back up the middle. Kipnis is there. There's one. On to Rizzo at first, and they get them both. Josh Bell the next to hit his matchup numbers with Hendricks he's got five base hits in 26 at bats it's two balls and a strike to Josh Bell Newman at third with two away Ani gets him to wave at that one it's two and two hey what a job right here to put yourself in position to get out of this one after giving up back to back singles to the first two batters three and two full count Here's the payoff pitch. Hit hard down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. And to score from third, the tying run. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. At the plate now, Anthony Rizzo. Swung on and missed, and it's even at two and two. And played perfectly as it's hit on the ground. And he'll take this to the bag himself, and the leadoff man set down to start the second. Ready now, Kyle Schwarber, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Not much he can do with that one. Tied him up in knots. Started to chase there. They'll appeal it down to third and no swing. It's ball two. The 2 2. 
He loses him on ball four. And that'll bring in the Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. Getting 500 in the series so far. Four for eight. High and deep down the left field line. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. The one-two. Hit down the third baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. And this is taken for a ball high and tight. Two and two. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at. And if not, it's ball four anyways. So he punches him out looking at the fastball. Ian Happ is sent packing for out number two in the inning. Three and one. You know, I kind of see why his ERA is so high coming into this one. He's just putting these guys in too many good hitters counts. That'll catch up with you real quick. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. The pitcher, Kyle One and one. Here it is. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. Polanco will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move. And that ends the inning. Colin Moran nine at bats for him in the series so far and he's collected a pair of hits the one one hit out towards second taken in by Kipnis. And that's out number one. Here's Gregory Polanco. Five base hits in the series for him through nine at bats, so he's been very productive at the plate. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. Hmm, got caught lunging there as this one's fouled away. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Here's a swing and a long drive high in the air and deep to center field. Just missed a home run to the deepest part of the yard. It's off the wall. Polanco blows through the stop sign headed for home. And he's safe at the plate as they take the lead. Into the box, Kevin Kramer. Sinker misses, ball four. Stepping into the box, Jacob Stallings. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Kipnis. On to Rizzo, and it's a double play, side retired. Ready for another chance. Javier Baez flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. There's ball two as the slider dips below the zone. You know, what I'm seeing here is a reluctance to throw the fastball. It's like he feels he can't throw the ball right by him right now. Into the windup. Here comes the 2-2 pitch. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first down. Now batting. So one away in the inning, and that'll bring in the dangerous bat of Jason Hayward, the right fielder. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Long run for the center fielder. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up Chris Bryant. Swing 
swing and a ball line down in the left field corner. But this will be foul. The one two is swung on and missed. He got him. In now, Trevor Williams as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Here it comes on one and one. Great job by the pitcher right there, changing eye levels. We all know he's a sinker ball pitcher, but if he could throw some four seamers up in the zone like that, it could work for him. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Now back. A two to one score here as we play inning number three. No man. And it's up to a 3 2 full count now. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. And that'll bring in Adam Frazier. He'll attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Hit on the ground to third. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Ball set for the start of the inning. Next to hit will be Wilson Contreras. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. The one-two is looked at for ball number two. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but he's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. But this will be speared at third, and that was self-defense all the way. One gun. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Here is a ground ball now for the shortstop to the right of second. Throw on to first, two gone. The next cub up, Kyle Schwarber. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Fourth inning of a two to one ball game. And it's fouled away. Popped him up. Moran is there and the side is retired. Now batting Brian Reynolds. He's set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Sinker misses that time and it's two and one. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. Three and one to him now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Now a swing and a miss as he was trying to flick that one the other way. And it's a full count now. Three and two. I mean, that's a classic case of coming off your backside right there. He lost his entire back leg, was out in front, couldn't keep his hands back. The next three, two. And that misses for ball four to lead off walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. So that'll bring up Josh Bell. The runner at first with no outs here. Takes a look at a change up there and it's a ball and two strikes now. Hey you know in the back of your mind as a batter right here he's got that nasty sinker. I know it's 0-2 but he might not be looking for the punch out. You have to find a way as a batter to get that two seamer up in the zone or you're going to ground into a double play. Line toward right center. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. Now batting. The third baseman. Colin. In now, Moran. Colin Moran. The one two is a breaking ball. They can't find the zone, and it's even at two. hit hard on the ground to second. Kipnis has it. Throw to first is in time but meanwhile the runner is in to score. Trying to pick things up where he left off. 
Gregory Polanco. And he might still be a bit winded after the inside the park home run in his first at bat. I got to be honest, that was certainly fun to watch. There's only a few moments in baseball that can be as exciting as an inside the park home run. Hayward gathers it in. Here comes the runner for the plate. And they'll tack on a run with the sack fly. It's now a 4 to 1 now ball game. Time. Number 44. At the plate, Kevin Kramer. He drew a walk his first time up. The 3 1. And he loses him on a breaking ball. Digging in for his second at bat, Jacob Stallings. The catcher, Jacob Stallings. A 1 1 to third. On to Kipnis at second, and the inning is over. Ready to go in the top of the fifth. Digging in. Ian Happ. First time up, he went down looking. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot. Has to put the ball in play. Nip the corner. Two and two. Bounce to first. Bell picks it up. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. So the base is empty here with one away. And standing in now, the power-hitting second baseman, Jason Kipnis. Now the one-and-one one pitch is laid off for ball two. Man, this guy has retired a whole slew right now. I think what he needs to do is just stay focused and keep attacking the game plan like he has up to this point because everything he's done has worked. They haven't played perfectly as it's hit on the ground. Newman brings it in, it. and he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man now for the second out. The so bases are empty here with two gone, and the pitcher Kyle Hendricks will be the next to bat. Hit to short. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Standing in, Trevor Williams looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there, north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. And that's the first out. Coming to the plate now, Kevin Newman, a hit in two tries so far. Fifth inning here in a four to one ball game. Sinker on the inside, and that's a strike. On the ground to third. Bryant is up with it, and there's out number two. Ready for another shot now. Adam Frazier, one for two in the ball game thus far. The 1-1. One, one. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll flip it onto first, and with it, that ends the inning. And that brings up Javi Baez. He went down on strikes last time up. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right, so we'll try it again at one and two. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Down the third baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Digging in once again, Jason Hayward. 0 for 2, he's flown out twice. Now the one and one pitch. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Really tied him up on that one. Yikes. He kind of looked clueless on that swing right there, Matt. If I'm pitching, I'm going right back to that same pitch. And that is down as that could be two bases. And he'll reach second now with one away. Now batting the third base. 
to the plate now. Chris Bryant hit back up the middle. Newman's got it. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. So a runner at third. Two men are out. And Wilson Contreras digs in at the plate. The 1-2. Misses ball two. Looked like he just tried to do too much with that fastball right there. He he overthrew it a little bit. That's pretty much the case when you airmail a fastball like that. Slap hard the opposite way. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Kyle Ryan enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the six. Now pitching for the Chicago Cubs. Number 56. Now at the plate, Kyle. Brian Reynolds. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. That nibbled the corner there, but missed 2-1. and one. Ryan has seen his role change with those one batter lefty specialists going the way of the dodo as a part of MLB's pace of play initiatives. There to take it in is Kipnis, and there's one away. Ready once again, Josh Bell. He doubled earlier and carries a two for two line into this appearance. Now the one and one pitch. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Ryan has a good reputation for preventing the long ball. One swing can change the complexion of the ball game when you're coming in late, but he rarely lets that happen. Part of what makes him as effective as he is. Ready to deliver the one and two. Nope, at the ball. Four runs, five hits, and no errors so far for the Pirates. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. Lofted in the air out toward right center. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. now Into the box eight. now, Colin Moran. Colin. 0 for 2 with a run Colin batted Moran. in for him thus far. Fouled off. Four runs, five hits, and no errors so far for the Pirates. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. Gregory Polanco would be next. And this one misses inside a ball. He walked him, and they've got themselves a two-out base runner. Into the box now, Gregory Polanco. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park, just like he did back in the second. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. High fly ball out to straightaway center. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Stepping into the box, Anthony Rizzo. A couple of ground outs on his batting line in two trips so far. Two balls and two strikes to Rizzo. Fouled away. Uh, 2 2. And it's late his afternoon of work, and the longer this at bat goes, the better chance of him making a mistake. But as a guy starts to tire, they're more likely to leave the ball up. But man, he's been good so far. Moran retreats to the outfield grass, and he has it for round number one. Now Stepping up to the plate, Kyle Schwarber. Kyle. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. And a swing and a miss here, so it's a quick two outs to start the seventh. The center fielder. Digging in the switch hitter, Ian Happ. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, Matty, and it looked like a sinker in his last A-B that got him to roll over. 
kind of similar situation right here. Similar stuff on the mound. Look for them to try and get him to do exactly the same now thing as his last AB. AB. He's got to fight to get it elevated just a little bit more. Kyle Crick takes over here with the runner at first and two gone in the inning. At the plate, Jason Kipnis. A ball and two strikes to Kipnis. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Here now the 2-2. Line down the left field line. But this is going to get foul. Another try at 2-2. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Lifted the other way to left center. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there to make the catch, Ladies and that gentlemen. ends the yes, inning. For the traditional Rowan Wick will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. David Bodie will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hole in the order here on that double switch. David The 1-1 home. Well, that's ball three, and the Pirates right now would do anything to get that leadoff guy on. They would welcome a walk. And that misses ball four. It's a leadoff walk to start the home seventh. Now with the plate, Jacob Stallings. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Jose Osuna will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. We're in the seventh now. Four to one, our score to this point. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Kevin Newman will be next. Call to strike, and it's full three and two. I think it's a real possibility that they put that run on first in motion. That would help them stay out of that double play that would end the inning, but that's also kind of risky at the same time. The next 3-2. High in the air out to center field. Half is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. So the batting order turns over now and set now to go. Back. Kevin Second Newman, baseman. he was retired Kevin. via the ground ball last time up. Newman. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. In the dirt here. And he is in there. They couldn't get him at second. And that's going to move that runner into scoring position now. And a ball popped foul to the right side out of play. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Pretty well struck. High and deep to left field. Looking up is the left fielder. And this one is gone. A home run. So now to the plate, Adam Frazier. Two and two to Adam Frazier. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been. Threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning.
Richard Rodriguez has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 48. Ready to begin the eighth at the plate, David Bodie. He'll get to take his first cuts here. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Real ugly 0-1 swing there. As a pitcher, you've got to be hunting for the strikeout knowing you have this guy way off balance. Hit on the ground to third. Reined in. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Javier Baez. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Reynolds is on the move for it, but he can't get there. This splits the outfielders and heads toward the wall. Around second now and headed for third. And he's in there at third with a one-out triple. Now batting. The right field. Stepping in now, Jason Hayward. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Ani pops it up. And no one will track it down. Hit in the air to center field. Catch will be made here. Tagging is the runner from third. And he will get in to score, and it's a run batted in on the sacrifice fly. The Digging in next will be Chris Bryant. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Now the three and two pitch. Squared that one up just a little late. Another full count pitch home. Frozen on strike three for the final out of the inning. Jeremy Jeffress is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 24. Jeremy. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Riding in once again, Brian Reynolds. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. The 1 1 home. Is strike two swinging. When I broke into the league, not many guys were throwing that elevated fastball with that much velocity on it. The game has changed. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Goes the other way, and this is in the air out to left. Schwarber comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the first out. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Josh Bell. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Now look out as that pitch sends him tumbling to the ground. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. Schwarber is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. So two gone here in the Pittsburgh eighth, and that'll bring up Colin Moran. Two out, nobody on. This is in the air to left field. Schwarber will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Your Robbie Erlin comes on from the pen now, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. 72. New inning set to get underway. Now the Cubs four hole hitter, Wilson Contreras. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last AB. He hit that ball on the screws. Two and two to the Cubs catcher. 
Not sure if that was a great take or if he got locked up on a two-seamer running away, but either way, it worked out well for him. That's a well-thrown pitch, though. Count full, three balls and two strikes. The 3-2 pitch pulls this one in the air out to left. Frazier has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. And that'll bring now Anthony that's... Rizzo to the plate. He's hitless in Anthony. three at-bats to this point. 1-1. One, one. Is taken for ball two. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Reynolds is on the move for it. He gets there, and that's the second out. Now with the plate, Kyle Schwarber. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. 1-1. One, one. Is looked at off the plate for a ball. Bases are empty here with two men out. 3-1 to the Cubs' left fielder. Ian Happ would be next. Lifted in the air to right field. Polanco on the run. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. And he will pull into second with a two out double. Up next to the Cubs, the center fielder, Ian. Into the box now, Ian Happ. One and two now as that one's fouled off. And now this crowd, estimated at around 26,000 fans, comes to their feet. Ball two as the breaking ball misses inside. Great take right there, but the last thing you want to do is be called out on strikes to end the game. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Newman fields it cleanly. Go to first to be in time for the final out, and the Pirates will salvage at least the finale in this three-game series as the ball game is over. Six to two, the final total today. Pittsburgh took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Trevor Williams with his fourth win this season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. First for the victorious Pirates, six runs, six hits, no errors, they left four men on base. For the Cubs, two runs on five hits, no errors, they left five men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 57 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon, and we remind you to please drive home safely.